Well, the film festival was born um, out of a, uh, a need. When I grew up here in, uh, at the Jersey Shore, Asbury Park was our cultural mecca. When I was young, you could come here for theater, you could come for film, you could come for um, uh, all kinds of wonderful cultural events. When I moved back from New York City with my family, I was uh, astounded that there really was a cultural void. I have heard that a society without art um, perishes. I feel like there's no sort of adult cultural events in town that aren't sort of driven around alcohol or being in a bar. It's when the arts are available to people and accessible, uh, it really improves uh, their quality of life. It's a great means for building community. It helps um, bring people together. The arts is what elevates commercial zones from malls into vibrant places that people want to be. Asbury Park has this extraordinary history. Because there are thousands of people in this area who have good memories of Asbury Park. In this one square mile area um, with three lakes, and you have this country by the sea atmosphere, and people were attracted to this for, for a sense of restoring themselves. It was a sense of renewal, and it was certainly promoted as that in the early days. It really started off as one of the premier resorts um, of New Jersey and really all of eastern uh, United States and it had such a wonderful past. Um, everyone came, all the socialites from New York, from Philadelphia, anyone who was anyone uh, at the turn of the century wanted to be in Asbury Park. It just was the place to be. I mean this has just always been a magnet for musicians here to come, to live, to work. And Asbury at that time had a, a lot of venues, a lot of places for people to play. I mean uh, you know, on Springwood alone, you know, they had to be, I don't know, 30, 30 bars, and all of them did live music. I think for a musician, there's almost literally a siren song that pulls us all here. Um, it's almost a mini version of the saying in New York, if you can make it there, you can make it anywhere. As a musician, there was the same kind of pull for Asbury Park. The testament to a healthy community, a vibrant community, is a community that acknowledges the contributions of the past and it honors those contributions and the, and the his, history becomes part of the civic discussion and the civic promotion of a town. Asbury in particular is a very artsy driven community from the local um, visual art to theater to film to music um, so it's kind of natural I think that this is here in this city. It is an opportunity for the town's people to come and see films that they're not going to see anywhere else. The thing that makes us different from another festival is the fact that we really are a community-based organization. I was really drawn to, to this church and this community and I certainly quickly fell in love with them but falling in love with Asbury I didn't expect what happened so quickly. Having lived here six months I'm absolutely blown away at the sense of community. I think that's really its greatest potential because what I see, it's, all, it's almost to a point where I have to, there's so many people that come in and walk through my doors and want to help. Everybody try to be friends with everybody because everybody feels like, you know, new. I've been fortunate enough to live in New York City and in Maine and in the Midwest, but what I like best about living here in Asbury Park is that we're all part of something wonderful that's happening. We're part of the making our piece of the world a little bit better place. Asbury Park is a place where people can come and really just be who they are. When I came into Asbury, my, my vibe was, wow, you have a city within a suburb, a suburb within a city. We have a park that runs from Main Street to the boardwalk. It's, it's about seven blocks. It's beautiful. And it has a lake in it and an island. Where else do you have that? I guess what makes Asbury different that other people might not see is the urban fabric, that we're not a, a made-up Disneyland kind of resort. This town has had many ups and has many downs. And you know the positive now is to see that diversity of every lifestyle, of eth every ethnicity, color, 
um, you know, working in a community to make it better. In such a small geographical space, you have people from such divergent walks of life. This town is the only town it's not done in this area. You know, Georgia, Mammoth County is, you know, one of the richest ca uh, county in America, but happened to Asbury Park is, you know, nothing finished. So people uh, see our opportunity. We have studies that show that, you know, for every dollar somebody spends on the arts, they're going to spend an additional $10. In the case of the Garden State Film Festival, they're coming to the city, they're going to want to eat somewhere, they're going to want to shop somewhere, and they may want to come back. I've never been to Asbury Park until I, until I went to the Garden State Film Festival. It's great for Asbury Park because of exposure and because of networking opportunities and economics. You can just feel the energy that's out there. And the, the spirit of something amazing is happening here in this town and that the arts are a really important part of it. It's this untapped wealth of talent here that we've kind of, for whatever reasons, probably f far beyond anybody sitting in this room, we haven't tapped into that talent. And that's what was most, most amazing to me was when you take away all the perceptions and you get in here and you start talking to these kids, they're talented, they're intelligent, they care, and they want to be successful. Artists want to be here because there's all this open space for it, and it seems to be calling you. Filmmaking, um, as well as any art endeavor, is a very tough business. It's probably as competitive as anything else that you can choose to do. Um, I don't know that I have a choice. I think it's a passion. The money is not important. It's imagine getting the, the vision on screen. The artist is looking for something to bring into themselves, I think. Um, from which to create. And the physical beauty of Asbury Park certainly has that. I don't know, you get a vibe in, in a place like Asbury Park, I think, that you don't get in, uh, you, you don't get it everywhere, you know? You, you get this sense of like, wow, I better, I better do something, I better, <laughs> I better come up with something. There's something about the city that just sort of pulls you in. I was called to be here for a while before I actually moved here, and that sense of place was very important to me. All of the destruction or whatever still couldn't wipe it away, you know? The spiritual thing was still here, you know? People from the artistic world grab a hold of it because it's like this invisible vibe, man, that you, they, that, 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 that you can't see but you can feel it, you know what I mean? Two words to describe Asbury Park. Up and coming. Absolutely wonderful. Tremendous fun. Wonder-filled ever-changing. Potential and exciting. Community and diversity. Endlessly fascinating. Diverse and committed. Creative, it's passionate, it's um, difficult at times. <laughs> Asbury Park is, is hope. Asbury Park is original. It is an oxymoron. <laughs> I think Asbury Park will be a perfect example of what proper redevelopment, proper urban planning, and community involvement can do to a city and bring a city back to its former glory. You can't have a revitalization without the arts. The arts are our humanity. And unless arts organizations are embraced and helped along, no amount of condominiums or no amount of restaurants is going to be enough. And I think that the arts, arts community might be the um, prism through which all these other communities can find common ground. The city of Asbury Park, I think right now, more than any other time that I've known, really needs what art can bring. The Garden State Film Festival is part of the cultural scene. It enhances the fact that this is a thriving cultural community. This is one of the, the events that could really put, help to put Asbury Park on the map. It serves the purpose of uh, legitimizing the, the reputation of Asbury Park as a place that an artist can come, uh, be creative, and feel free to exhibit their work. The film festival is really one of the premier arts events in the county. The, the city welcomed us with open arms and everyone tells the story of this crazy lady saying, I'm going to start a film festival. And they said, eh, film festivals come and go. But 
We're, we're here to stay. The f festival keeps growing and, and growing and growing. We do outreach programs all over the state. We are touted as the premier cinema event in the state, and um, we're happy that our home is in Asbury Park.